Rexer18, how's it going? In this video, I'll be going over the Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark IV. Uh, this wireless, uh, open source wireless device is truly amazing. Uh, it's, you know, basically a hot, a hot spot honeypot uh, device that is a great in, uh, device for enthusiasts, hackers, and penetration testers. You know, uh, it's amazing. You guys have to definitely check this out. I'm thinking about getting it. Let me know what you guys think about it. Um, if I should get it or not, I want to make tutorials on it. So, uh, as you're seeing the the pictures fly, uh, flying through here, this will give you an image of what it looks like. Uh, yes, you can use it on U, uh, 3G USB, but we'll all go through that uh, um, down here at the bottom. So, on this, uh, their hack shop, uh, basically this is hack 5. If you guys are familiar with their podcast, this is their hack shop. Um, and what the Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark IV is, like I said, basically just open source wireless uh, auditing tool that brings the ease of man in the middle of text and many other uh, tools that we could use on the side. So, a hundred bucks is you know standard uh, standard price. That's what it is. You can also get the Pro bundle, Elite bundle whatever works for you best so uh, what's so important about this and why should we take a look at it well it's easily stealth point for man in the middle text honey pots trick users uh, into connecting to wireless networks that truly are not the right network or what they really want to connect to so it's basically them connecting to an unknown network and then using that network and then we're getting inf our data uh, mining from them, information mining from them. So um, it can use mobile broadband, 3G USBs. It can do Android tethering. It can do persistent SSH tunneling. It can do relay and deauth attacks with auxiliary Wi-Fi adapters, such as your Alpha wireless card that you use the crack networks with. Uh, it has a web-based management to uh, interface to simply use your man in the middle text, easily conceal it, and has a battery. Uh, it's battery powered as well, and it's easily expendable through the community because it's open source. So um, we're gonna go to the bottom here. Look a uh, look at a few here. It has a simple interface there. It shows a picture of it. What it'll look like it's like accessing a router basically and you have uh, everything there simply right in front of you uh, the, a quick glance at your your connected clients that are on the network uh, the wireless traffic that or the traffic that's going through there you can run reports start services customize attacks capture data um, just within a few clicks it's uh, you know the way it sounds so really easy to use SSH 3G connections free memory you can, uh, you know, you can keep your Wi-Fi pineapple, you know, uh, going along as, you know, with the clean scripts that are running there. And you have a hold reset button so you can reset the store factories if you choose to do that. And you can, it's skinnable. You can choose themes for it. Uh, green on black theme, stuff like that. Uh, very effective. Like I said, mobile broadband, Android tethering, Wi-Fi relay, Ethernet. Wi-Fi PC and it can even be standalone. Uh, you can do, you can run tools like Karma, DNS spoof, SSL strip, URL snarf, and grep. A lot more is very customized. Um, you can use your aircrack suite. Uh, you can do reverse SSH start setups. Uh, so you can do instant attacks on power up, which is freaking sweet. Uh, it's even more powerful than the previous Mark III. You got a faster processor. You got a better wireless uh, spectrum using the wireless N, and you got an extra Ethernet port. You got an expansion uh, USB 2.0 slot. Uh, it has built-in authorized AR uh, 9331 running at 400 mega uh, megahertz. That's twice the speed of the previous model. Okay. So, um, and can run, uh, it has a fast Linux kernel, a 3.2 base uh, Jazz Agar firmware, which is built on the open R, uh, WRT. And it, like I said, very expandable, has firmwares, accessories, modules, scripts, everything you can get from the community that is on there. 
uh, there's a form at the forms.hack5.org, and they will have the all the the scripts that you need there, and all the modules that you need there to download. You got Nmap, TCP dump, Java text, Wi-Fi jammer, bandwidth monitor, SSL strip, dynamic DNS site surveys. There's a ton more to check out with this. It's amazing. So uh, definitely check this uh, excellent hacker tool um, that is used by many developers, penetration testers, security uh, enthusiasts, because this thing is very powerful to use. Uh, go to Wi-Fi Pineapple.com, check it out, or you can buy it at the Hack Shop, um, which is part of the Hack5.org. So, um, what do you guys think about this? I think this is definitely a really cool uh, thing that I could use as a project and even give you guys more tutorials and more videos out there. Even considering the USB rubber ducky, it is a tad expensive. Both of these are. But, you know, as me, um, as your, uh, you know, you guys are my subscribers, you guys are watching me. You know, I expect, I'm sure you guys are expecting to see more. And that's what I want to bring to you guys is a lot more videos and more uh, projects, more tutorials. So, uh, leave your comments, send me your messages. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, thanks, guys, for supporting me. I believe I just about hit my 100th video. And then this is a great way that to help you guys out in the future. And I think this will definitely uh, bring my community for the YouTube channel a lot more uh, people and uh, people to keep interested in, in what I do. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Take care. Bye.